Hey guys, my name is Rose Mix and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today's video, we will talk about what are the what are the requirements for applying a US passport for your five years old uh, children or um, children under ages 16 okay so if your children under age 16 even they already have an old passport you cannot renew their passport it's always a new application for kids or children that is 16 years old and under and their passport is valid only for five years okay so there's no renewal for children under 16 of age and your and the passport is only five years so um, you have two option first you can apply your your child US passport to USPS that's what I did to my daughter um, Daenerys she is five years old and I need to get her a new passport so you can go to the website of USPS and then look for the USPS that has a service for passport or a passport photo, okay? Then look for that first, USPS, and then what are the branch you will go that has a service for passport. And then after that, you need to fill out a DS-11 or application form, okay? You can download that to their website or you can go to USPS and they have a hard copy of uh, US passport application. You can get that or do it online by downloading the DS-11, okay? And then the next one, after you fill out the form, you have to provide U.S. citizenship evidence, okay? So your evidence must be an original or certified physical copy. A certified copy is any document that has a seal or stamp of the official issuing authority, okay? And then full validity and damage U.S. passport expired passport are accepted that's one and then the second um u.s citizenship evidence is a birth certificate so first passport second birth certificate third consular report of birth abroad or certification of birth and then fourth certificate of citizenship those four documents is the uh, U.S. citizenship evidence that you can provide for your kids, okay? And then next, um, bring a photocopy of the U.S. citizen evidence. So those four that I mentioned. So you can only pick two, okay? So if you have passport of your kids, photocopy that. Um, the passport biographic page then second the birth certificate photocopy that and then the third is the consular report of birth abroad or certificate of birth and then for the certificate of citizenship so photocopy those not front and back okay only use one page okay and then um, the photocopy should be um, legible on white uh, photo paper and white uh, band paper sizes 8.5 by 11 standard paper black and white but I did mine colored so I think it's okay doesn't matter and then single sided okay single sided meaning you will only photocopy let's say the ID the front of the ID you will photocopy on the first page and then the back of the ID you will photocopy on the other page okay not front and back or not like the front is here and then the back is in here in in one page no not like that okay and then next show parental relationship if um, you are a parent 
um, the parents, both parents should be present during the process of the application. The mom and the dad should be present together with the kid that applying for the passport, okay? Um, so, you need also a parental relationship. First, U.S. birth certificate if the parents are U.S. citizen. Second, um, green card if your parents is not a U.S. citizen. And then third, um, state ID. Fourth, driver's license. Uh, five, um, adaptation degree. Six, foreign birth certificate. And then seven, divorce or custody decree. Okay? And like what I've said, photocopy those. Only one page. Um, the front is one page. The back is on the second page. Okay? So bring those. And also show yourself. Show yourself. The parents should be there also. Okay? And then next, present an ID. Okay? Um, there are a lot of uh, valid ID. So, uh, first, U.S. passport, second, driver's license, state ID, certificate of naturalization, certificate of citizenship, um, government ID, uh, foreign passport, um, U.S. permanent card or green card, um, what else? Um, trusted traveler ID, so you can use all of those, but... If you have a specific ID that I did not mention, you can go to USPS website and you can check the specific valid ID that you can present, okay? And then next, bring photocopy of ID. Like what I said earlier, um, you only use one-sided page, okay? And then next, um, show your parental consent if the parents will be not uh, there with the kids who will apply for the passport. You, you have to send a parental consent. But if the parents are there, no need for that. Okay? And the next, um, provide a photo of your kid. So make sure if you choose the branch, the USPS branch, that has a uh, photo capture machine, you have to call them. Call them if their machine is fixed or if it is working. Because what happened to us, um, it stated on the branch that they have a photo, photo capture machine. But when we went there, the, the guy told me that their machine is not working. But they did not give me any um, advice that their machine is broken so call them first and if they don't have the machine to capture the photo or their machine is broken you can go to um, I think CVS Walgreens they have those just told just tell them you need a passport photo and make sure you are wearing or your kids wearing a dark color shirt because the background is white okay and no jewelry no earrings and no necklace on the photo okay and make sure your ear is visible on the photo okay your kids ear is visible on the photo it's not covered like your hair is like this no not like that it should be like this okay and then after the photo of course you need to you need to pay for the fees so the passport book costs 100 dollars the passport card costs $15, and then the passport booking card costs $115. But if you want those two, you will pay $115. If you only need passport card, you only pay um, $15. But if you need passport book, you will pay $100, okay? Plus the application fee, which is $35 for each. Either you pick book or card, the application fee is $35. And if you want to expedite the passport, you will pay additional $60. Okay? If you want to expedite it, you need to pay um, $60. And the process time for the passport is 8 weeks to 11 weeks. But if you will expedite, 
you will wait five to seven weeks but you need to pay additional sixty dollars okay and then you need um for the 100 dollars for the passbook you can only pay money order of course you need to get a money order for that okay and use for um debit card but if you will pay application fee you can use debit card or credit card okay and then after that if you already have the application form all the requirements um the child who will apply and then the parents will be there you're good your passport photo the money order and then the money for application fee and you are good to go so you need to print your um confirmation so once you already apply and set, a, set an appointment they will send you on your email a confirmation and you have to print that confirmation and then bring it to your appointment and make sure you will be there 15 minutes early than your appointment time okay so i help you out so i hope i help you out um and give you an idea what you need to bring um and then the fees for your kids u.s passport application okay so have a great day, everyone bye bye